We're joined now by the head coach of the Missouri Valley College women's basketball team, Tim Dixon. Tim, heading into this season, what are some of your expectations for this year's team? Well, I think my biggest expectation I have for our group this year is just to make sure we can compete for the conference championship and stay in the top half of the conference. I think we got a great group of young ladies this year that will actually help us uh, consistently stay in games, and, and I think it's going to be a very exciting group to watch. This is your second year with the program. Last year with your first year, what did you, what do you see, how do you see the team improving upon um, from the ideas and the philosophy that you had last year heading into this year? Well, I think it's more consistency from me, to be quite honest. And I think that translates into uh, confidence uh, in the system that we want to run and the, and the style of play that we want to do. And so um, I think that'll be the main difference. I think also this year we took care of some issues in regards to some of our weaknesses. I think we're going to rebound better. I think we're going to shoot a little bit better. And I think we're more deep at each position. And I think that'll help translate into us probably having a little bit better record than we did last year. And, and uh, it's just going to make us a lot more exciting to watch. You have a number of players returning from last year's team, but you also have a number of new players coming into the program. How have those uh, two groups kind of come together and, and where do you see uh, each group kind of being uh, have, having some, some better uh, ability so far? Well, I, the, the that's an easy question. The best thing about my, my returners uh, is they've had a year, I guess, with the system. And so they kind of have a better understanding and knowledge of how to run it, how to how to execute it better, and they understand my style. And so that's a great thing to have, uh, a good core group of five seniors that kind of understand how to play. Uh, with the newcomers, you know, they're going to have to pick it up quickly, and I think they are doing a great job at it. But as the season goes through, uh, hopefully they can all uh, get together and uh, the seniors can help our newcomers and help them understand how things go, and, and uh, we'll get better as the season goes along. Your first year in the heart last year, what was your takeaway from the conference? Tough conference. I mean, there's no gimmies uh, at, at all in this conference. And so you have to be ready to play every night. Um, and, you know, each conference member is, is well prepared, well coached, uh, and great system. And so with our new, new conference members coming in, they're going to be the same way. They're going to work hard. Uh, and uh, they're going to want to try and finish and challenge me in the top half of the conference also. So, again, no gimmies, a great conference. Love our travel schedule. We don't travel very much but uh, uh, as far as some of the other schools, but it's going to be a great conference, and we're going to be pretty exciting. You mentioned the new members of the conference with two new teams and four more conference games, a game starting in November. How does that change your approach to the start of the season? Well, you know, we, we're, we're – giving our kids more information earlier. We have to be ready to go because, uh, as you said, conference starts the second week of November. So uh, we're really kind of uh, giving our kids a crash course and everything they really need to learn uh, so we can be ready to go by that second week. So, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting to start conference play earlier, um, but it's also a challenge because you can't drop those first two games uh, early uh, because then it's an uphill climb the rest of the year. And what's your expectations? What are your goals for this season? Well, you know, to finish in the top half of the conference, we want to make sure that we do that uh, and, and take it one game at a time. And if we can do that, things will take care of itself. And hopefully at the end, uh, we, we can challenge for the conference title and hopefully go to the national tournament. We're joined by senior for the Missouri Valley College women's basketball team, Raina Smith. Raina, first off last season, your first under head coach Tim Dixon. What was your kind of takeaway from how things went last year? Well, from last year, it was kind of expected for it to be a transitioning year since it was our third coach in the past three years. So we knew it would be a little difficult to get used to it. But towards the end of the year, we kind of got it, but got it, got it together. But obviously, it was too late because we could have did better than what we did. But it's just live and learn. From last year's team, this year's team, you have a number of players returning, but you also have some new faces. So how have things gone in the preseason and practices so far? I think this year is going to be a completely different Missouri Valley team. I think our conference is not going to know what to expect because I feel like we have way more talent and it's like different talent. Like we have skill in each position, like better than what I've uh, experienced the past four years I've been here. So it'll be interesting and it'll be a shock to everyone. What's your goal? What's the team goals for this season? 
Well, the goal is always to compete for a conference championship, and I feel like we can do that and make it to the national tournament. And I don't even think Valley has done that or haven't did it in a, in a while. And I feel like we can definitely do that, and we have the talent to do it. You're a four-year player, been here for quite a while. How have you gotten better as a player since when you first arrived on campus? Well, I feel like I've taken more on a leadership role, regardless of if it was something that I do, but my coach has always seen that leadership role in me, so I've always been the one that they'll come talk to or to get my team better and to get, to get us to become a, more of a team. So I feel like I kind of always had that leadership ability. And as far as play, I just do what I can and hopefully it helps the team to be successful. What's kind of your expectations for the season as far as conference play goes with two new teams, four more games and conference games starting in November? How do you approach this season knowing that right off the bat you play conference games? Well, that's going to be new for us because usually we'll have a good warm of like eight to ten games before conference, so we'll have to figure it out early. And it'll just, it'll be another transition apart with that having to start conference early, but I feel like we can. We'll figure it, be able to figure it out quickly and be successful. What are some areas or positions, areas on the floor that you think this team is really strong in he heading into the season? Well, our biggest, uh, what we got better at is definitely rebounding because we actually have guards that want to go to the board and be good at rebounding. So I feel like that'll help us compete in conference since we normally usually get beat on the boards. But I feel like that's a of art we have gotten better at and as far as shooters I think we have a lot of more consistent shooters so that'll be a surprise to everyone in conference because usually Valley is a team that doesn't have very consistent shooters so they lay off but it'll be a surprise this year.